Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Back to the Future Double Visions. Alright, so, what do we have to do here? Hey Emmett, got a sec? Why yes, in fact, I've got several. So, you and Edna, how serious are you guys? Well, we both enjoy a good joke every now and then, but I'd say on the whole we're fairly serious people, why do you ask? No, no. What I mean is, how serious is your relationship? Oh, well, as a scientist, I can't state this with 100% confidence, but I'm provisionally certain that I'm head over heels in love. Really? With Edna? What can I say? She's my muse. In the weeks since we've been courting, she's given me so many wonderful ideas. Are you sure Edna's the right woman for you? What do you mean? Don't you think she's a little... Uh, controlling? Controlling? Edna? No, 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 no. She's just giving me a little much-needed guidance. Before I met her, I was such a flibberty gibbet, always getting distracted by the slightest stray idea. But now, thanks to Edna, I stay focused on the task in front of me, like a narrow-band stream of stimulated photon emissions. Hmm. Focused! Isn't she a little... Uh, cold? Don't let the school marm exterior fool you, buddy. Edna's got enough warmth to raise a liter of water from zero to a hundred degrees centigrade. Know what I mean? I kinda wish I didn't. <laughs> I don't know, I, I just think Edna might be a little... dangerous. Oh, I agree. You do? Like all independent women, she's a danger to the patriarchal status quo. That's one of the things I love about her. She shakes things up! You have no idea. I just think you should be careful, that's all. Thanks for the concern, but I'll be fine. Uh... Is all this new stuff what you're showing off at the expo? Yes, it's our mental alignment meter. Mental alignment meter? I thought you were working on some sort of rocket car. Oh, the rocket propulsion system was far too unreliable, as that incident with Einstein proved. By the way, whatever happened to Einstein? I wish I knew. Anyway, I started tinkering with an alternate method of propulsion, but that was before things started heating up with Edna. Our conversations about the possibilities of applying technology to social ills pushed my research in a whole new direction. What's a mental alignment meter? It's the most revolutionary piece of technology since the cotton gin. What does it do? It reads and interprets the subconscious desires of the human mind. Why would you want to probe people's minds? Why wouldn't you? Imagine being able to diagnose mental disorders with a flick of a switch, or detect the truthfulness of courtroom testimony merely by connecting a witness to a small portable device. Your machine does all that? Not yet. Frankly, right now, the whole thing's just a gussied up potentiometer. But with years of refinements and a whole lot of investors, the MAM will be able to identify countless psychosis and neurosis, alcoholism, acrophobia, Oedipal complexes. And? And then we can set about curing them, of course. Of course. How does the mental alignment thing work? Here, I'll show you. Hey. The test subject wears this mind-mapping helmet, which probes the brain by measuring fluctuations in skin conductance and electrical resistance on the surface of the parietal lobe. Uh-huh. When I turn on the mind-mapping helmet with this radio switch, the subject is exposed to a series of visual stimuli intended to provoke a series of positive or negative responses, as indicated by these lights on the helmet. Hey, is that... As the responses are recorded, they're relayed to this special typewriter, which prints out a punch card that represents the subject's mind map. All I see is a bunch of holes. Well, to you, maybe. But to our mental alignment meter, this mind map is nothing less than a peek into your subconscious. Observe as I place your mind map into the MAM. Layabout. Is that machine calling me a slacker? No, your own physiological responses did. All anyway. Right. Did you 
make a mind map of yourself? Of course. Take a look. Edna is right. You are a model citizen. At least as far as my invention's concerned. Confidentially, this whole enterprise is a little light on the hard science and a little heavy on the smoke and mirrors. I can't believe you invented all this in two months. Well, like I said, there's not really a whole lot of inventing going on here. I just dressed up a $5 potentiometer with a lot of bells and whistles. But... Don't get me wrong, it does a remarkable job of telling whether a subject is currently liking or disliking what they're experiencing. But all the extra stuff about sorting out criminals from model citizens is mostly a bunch of hooey at this point. What's with the new threads? Do you like them? You look like Colonel Sanders. Who? Never mind. Edna gave them to me. She says my usual clothes don't have enough zing for a public exhibition. What's with the new threads? Do you uh, like them? Uh, I can't skip. Like Colonel S Who? Okay, I can skip. Ne it's just you different. Look busy. Why don't we talk later? Sure thing. Uh, hints would be nice. I'm gonna take Emmett's mind map, I better replace it with another one. Where's mine? Ah, I just had to walk around the whole thing, didn't you? What's this typewriter do again? During a mental alignment test, it takes messages from the mind map helmet and turns them into punch cards. Like the one for Mr. Tannen over there. Seems complicated. Actually, it was all rather easy to put together, once Edna gave me the idea. Sounds to me like you should be working on harder problems, then. What? Uh, sorry, I've got to get back to work. Can I... Hey, Emmett. What's cooking? That's an old brown family recipe for Hassenpfeffer. Hassenpfeffer? Rabbit stew. The trick is to add the cumin an hour after the carrots. Take a whiff. Mm, isn't that just about the best thing you've ever smelled in your life? It's, um, powerful, yeah. I've got it on a slow boil for later. I'd be careful of that if I were you. Why? Well, the rocket fuel experiment must have stripped one of the teeth in the hand crank. As a consequence, if you turn it for more than 10 seconds, it... No! ...sends out an electric shock. Alright, so I get how to do this now. Uh, how do I plug him in? What's this? Okay. There's a lot there. All right. I don't care if I Trixie Trotter. Edna doesn't approve of that sort of music, but I find it very soothing. Oh. Nothing happened. Well, that button advances the slides during the mind mapping test. It only works while the test is running. Wait, where's the mental uh, yeah, Here. So this machine takes those little cards and tells you whether or not someone's a good guy or bad guy? Kind of. Actually, the helmet does all the work. The mental alignment meter is just a glorified arcade machine. So why not just go with the cards? Edna says that people respond well to flashing lights and snap judgments. I can't argue with that. Every time I kiss her, I see flashing lights and lose all sense of judgment. No kidding. <laughs> okay. Valve, yeah. Phew. Ugh. Did the clamp fall off again? Um, yeah. Put it back on. 
Well, I don't even know why I keep that bacteria tank around. Every time the clam falls off the nitrogen tube, it takes a couple of minutes before I can get the stench out of the air. Whew. Uh, hints. <laughs> ah, there's a switch somewhere. What's this? The mind map cards from the dozens of subjects I've tested during the last few weeks. I've got to get them sorted before the expo begins. Why? Edna's got this grand scheme to catalog all of Hill Valley citizens by their mental alignment. Isn't that cute? Not really. Where's that switch? I wonder if I could run a mental affinity test without Emmett realizing it. Where's that switch? Um, help? Maybe I just talked to him. Damn it. Yeah. What do you say we take a break for a couple of hours and go see a movie? A couple of hours? Actually, it may be more like 70 minutes. I haven't got a couple of hours. I still got all these mind maps to sort, and the MAM's wiring is still giving me fits, and... I get it, you're busy. You get back to work. We'll, we'll catch up later. Thanks. I still don't know where... Wait. The mind of a degenerate criminal. That's Kit Tannen's mind map, as captured by our mind map helmet. You could tell he's a criminal just by looking at this? No, but when it's fed into the mental alignment meter... <laughs> Weird. Weird nothing. It's science! <sighs> still no use. Looking for anything that can be a switch. Oh my f Ah, oh, that's the stuff. I thought some good. Don't switch back. There's got to be something else around. What's this? That's a can of used motor oil, rocket fuel waste, and assorted chemical sludge left over from my abandoned rocket car. Gross. Accounting doesn't enter into it, but it is disgusting. Would you mind disposing of it on your way out? Uh, sure. Hey Emmett, I've got a... whoa! <laughs> Whoops. What the heck? Oh jeez, I'm sorry, y your suit's ruined! Edna's gonna be royally PO'd. Wrong! What? When Edna gave me this suit, I realized that the probability of me keeping it clean was infinitesimally remote, so I spent a few hours whipping up this. Whoa! What was that? 
A chemical compound capable of wiping the grime off any surface. Damn it, you'll make a fortune. Not anytime soon, I'm afraid. Due to an inerrant instability in its molecular makeup, after 12 hours, the cleanser's component chemicals break down into a series of claw shredding enzymes, rendering it unsuitable for commercial use. Wait a minute, does that mean your suit's gonna dissolve in 12 hours? Hey, gods, no. The solution dissipates into the air after it's applied. But it does mean that after this batch of cleanser ages another 11 hours and 53 minutes, it would eat away this suit faster than a thousand starving moss. And that would be a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Why? Because this suit belongs to Edna's grandfather, who wore it on his wedding day. Poor guy was gunned down just a few years later. Emmett? Well, enough wool gathering. Back to work. Okay, what? Well, is there something there? That cleanser doesn't seem very portable. It isn't, but this is... A perfume bottle? Yes. No, I mean, yes, it's a perfume bottle, but inside is a concentrated dose of my all-purpose cleanser. With a little luck, this should last me through the next 12 hours before its component chemicals break down into a series of cloth-destroying enzymes. Clever. And I think I'll pour oil into that, don't I now? I don't want to get that covered in any messy oil. Okay, maybe, maybe not that. I don't want to get that covered in any messy oil. Oh, this. No! Yes! Red. Yeah. No. Mm. Switch off that. No. Oof, nearly exited. Switch that off. No, 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 don't turn it off. This is my favorite part. Don't touch that. Oh, they gave me nothing. According to Emmett, this thing prints out mind maps. Oh, I guess I needed to advance through the whole thing. Let's try again real quick. I'm going to do it a lot quicker though. Emmett's invention makes him out to be a model citizen, huh? Well, we'll just see about that. Okay, finally I'm getting somewhere. Ew. No, not the stew pot. Good. Next slide. Slides are there. Oh, come on. Okay, 
Okay, let's have the generator kick in again. According to Emmett, this uh, thing prints out. Okay. I wonder if I can turn it off now. Let's let's just see if the hints say I can turn it off. Okay, so what about giving him some of these? Want an algae cake? Sure. Okay, and now I want to give him the stew. That smells much better. And record player. Just as a safe use. Once the expo's over, I'll need to upgrade the mental alignment test to account for stray sensory stimuli. So the slides, I guess, give positive effect. No. Okay, Valve. Ew. Stick the place up. And let's use the generator. No. When can I switch this thing off? Please work. Oh, please, please, please. No! Mind if I go ahead? Oh. Ah, oh, that'd be Mr. Needleman's card. I'll just put this in the stack with the other hooligans. According to Emmett. So, how long is this flipping test then? I don't like this. You're probably bored as fuck. Think it's up. Wait, what? What about the bacteria farm? Not so hot. The bacteria have kind of gotten out of control. I had to put a clamp on the nitrogen tube to keep the stench from flooding the lab. All right, and let's open the valve. Ew. I guess you just need to get like through all these slides. Oh my god. 
God, this is taking forever. Come on. Can I skip some? Can I skip the cutscenes? Or animations? Please end soon. Like, end your life or something. This is so boring. He doesn't even see them. How can I get... I know, let's give him some algae cakes. Um, as well. And then a generator. Okay. Algae cakes. Never even heard of them before. Another cake? Normally I wouldn't, but my stew's not ready yet. Good. And let's do another one of these. Oh, good. What does that say then? Yes. That's not a great reading, but if I really want to get Emmett in trouble, I better aim for the bottom. Oh. Uh, how do I do that? Oh fuck. It's gonna be like one of those things where I try to do it like 10 million times. Ah, oh, I get it. For So for it, each picture you need to um, basically put a mood on him. So let's do that. I'm gonna switch to the next picture. I get this a lot better now. No! Flip. Careful! Don't let all the flavor escape. I don't think that's how it works, but never mind. Ow. Don't smell the air. Okay, good. Advance! I don't know who that is. I wish I did. Who is that? Emmett's invention makes him out to be a model citizen, huh? Well, we'll just see about that. Who's John Wilkes Booth? Next slide, I guess. Bad. I need to put bad on that. Okay, next slide. If I can move. I should get rid of that stew. I shouldn't have even used it in the first place. Yep. I 
I want that to be bad, I think. Who is that even? That's Trixie? Yeah, good. Okay, let's see how bad he turned out to be. Whew. I broke it. Hey Emmett, I think your mind map test is broken. Oh, well, that switch just keeps shoring out on me. No time to fix it now. I'll have to take care of it at the expo. Looks like I'm not going to be doing any more mind maps. I guess I'll test this out and hope for the best. I guess it is the best then. Yes! Bingo! Now Emmett's mind map is as bad as Tannen's. Now all I have to do is swap this out with Emmett's original mind map and Emmett's own machine will do him in. Okay, um... Put that there. Okay, Emmett. Get ready to meet the new you. Hey! What? I almost left behind my mind map card. We're gonna show it off at the expo as a rare example of a model citizen. Edna kill me if I forgot that. She might kill you anyway when she gets a look at that mind map. Once Emmett gets to the expo, I'll try to figure out how to get him to put his card in the mental alignment meter. But for now, I better concentrate on making Emmett a slob who cheats on his girlfriend. Okay, well thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one! Bye bye!